guys, it feels weird. This is my first time being in Montreal without a black president. Yet my swag is off. Black spring break is over, you know? Have you seen Barack lately? He looks so relieved, so stress-free. He unbuttons his shirts lower now. The taco meat is out. He's just walking around, just relaxed, like we've got homework, but he doesn't, you know? I just miss having a cool president. Barack was cool just the way he introduced his family. I like to recognize my family, my wife, Michelle, our daughter, Sasha Malia. Michelle, Sasha Malia. Never Sasha Michelle Malia, or some other way. Always Michelle, Sasha Malia. When I say Michelle, you say Sasha and Malia. Like, no. <laughs> but he says it like they're some kind of singing group. I like to recognize my family, Earth, Wind, and Fire. My daughters, Frankie, Beverly, and Mays. My nephews, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. I just want Barack to have some cool job now, like be a club DJ, you know? Just in the club, like, single ladies, I can't hear you. Single ladies, make noise. Turn down for one. If you got a $100 bill, get Obamacare. Single ladies, I can't hear you. Cut the beat. Cut. Thank you. Thank you. Man, you know what I like about athletes? When it's crunch time, they lock in. LeBron gets off social media. Jordan Spieth, he ain't posted nothing because he was trying to win the British Open. Well, it's crunch time in America, people. It's bad. Police shooting unarmed people. News outlets beefing like 90s hip hop. Record labels, it's Fox News is like death row. CNN is like bad boy. They're just beefing. It's crazy. Meanwhile, my president, he's just tweeting. <laughs> Donald Trump is like the captain of the modern day Titanic, live tweeting as the ship goes down. <laughs> Great trip so far. Feel bad for anyone who wasn't on Hillary's ship. We're ahead of schedule. It's like, yo, get off your phone. We're sinking. My socks are wet, okay? Grab a bucket, dog. They done already put your family on the little boat. It's just us, and we're going down. Come on, man. And see, back home, people get uptight when you start talking about Trump sometimes. But that's what happens. Presidents get hated on. Barack got hated on. Trump was like, where's that birth certificate? Like, that's crazy. I even got in on the Barack jokes. I did a, a parody of Barack where I made fun of Barack singing Waka Flocka. And I was like, I'm the head of the motherfucking state, nigga. Viral. <laughs> super coon. Super cooning shit. But that's what happens. Presidents get hated on. Barack's getting hated on. Or was hated on. Now Trump's getting hated on. Orange is the new black, you know? <laughs> it's part of the process. Part of the process. Uh, I had an uncle who was killed by a police officer. So I understand this popular phrase, fuck the police. It's not popular. I mean, it's, it's not new, but it's been going down. I got friends, they say, fuck the police. And I say this, for those who feel that way, even if you agree with the phrase, fuck the police, when you're around the police, hide your fuck the police energy, you know? <laughs> Tuck it away. Put it in your pocket. Put it in your sock next to the weed. But just <laughs> get it out of here for right now. Me, I don't even just do the respectful stuff. I take it further. I flirt with the police. I hit on them aggressively. I'll touch their face. This is me getting pulled over. Excuse me, Officer Handsome. Was I swerving? Maybe I was lost in those blue ass eyes of yours. Zach Morris, ooh, blue eyes matter. Okay, I see you. Look here, Officer Handsome, uh, I don't know what I did, but I'm gonna fight it so I can see you again. <laughs> now, is this bulletproof vest or bulletproof chest? Okay, CrossFit, he signed up. Hey, little body camera, I see you seeing me, seeing you seeing me. Now listen, this is theory, haven't tried it out. <laughs> but it could go one of two ways. Either their officer is straight or homophobic, in which case he'll be weirded out. Hey, stop staring at my dick, get out of here or he's gonna be gay, and we gotta see where this goes. <laughs> now you gotta date this dude for a couple weeks. Now you got a main chick and a side cop. It's like, oh, I would play ball, but I gotta go hang out with Officer Harrison. We're gonna Netflix and chill and watch Bad Boys tonight. Now I gotta really fuck the police. 
I'm James Davis. That's my time.